Here we'll see how to write an equation of a parabola with vertex at 1, 2, and it also passes through the point 3, 4. And because we have the vertex already, we shall start by using the vertex form of a parabola. So let's go ahead and begin with y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. The 1 is the h, and the negative 2 is the k. So let's just draw them in. So we have y is equal to a times x minus 1 squared plus negative 2. That's very good. Well, what's a though? Don't worry, we still have this point that we can use. When you said it passes through 3, 4, that means when x is equal to 3, y has to be equal to 4. So we will put these numbers into y and x correspondingly. So 4 here, let me just write down 4 here, that's equal to a, we still don't know yet, x is 3, and then minus 1, and then square. So this was the number I plug in, that's 3 into the x. And the 1 is found earlier, and this is minus 2. Hmm? That's what we have. And now we just have to solve it. So let's see what we can do with this. What if operation? 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So this is 4 equals 4a minus 2. Add the 2 on both sides, we get 4a equals 6. Divide the 4 on both sides. So we can see a is equal to 3 over 2. And now we're pretty much done y is equal to a is 3 over 2 times x minus h we know is 1 and then square that k is negative 2 so we can just say that's minus 2 so with that we are done and if you want the equation in the standard form then you do the following you just expand it and then combine the terms work this out first though so we get 3 over 2 at the front x minus 1 squared, we get x squared minus 2, this and that, so it's minus 2x. And then plus this square, which is a 1, and then minus 2. And then distribute the 3 over 2, we get 3 over 2 x squared. This times that, the 2 cancels, so we have minus 3x. And then this times that, we get plus 3 over 2. And don't forget, we still have to minus 2, right? And finally, we have 3 over 2, x squared minus 3x. 3 over 2 minus 4 over 2, so altogether we have minus 1 over 2. Yep, equation in the standard form. If you would like, or if you prefer the vertex form, leave it like that, depending on the instruction, I'll say. That's it.